Seen on the surface, the polar ice melt is self-evident. But what's happening under the ice is the focus of a project underway at the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington. This is the APL Ice Diver. It's a thermal ice penetrator, also called a thermal melt probe. And it melts its way down through the ice several hundred meters to a few kilometers. And that allows us to put instrumentation at the bottom of those ice sheets. It's like a rocket going down instead of up. The APL Thermal Ice Diver is about six feet long. At the tip, the nose cone, heated to melt through the ice. The power to heat the nose cone comes from small generators on the surface. Our early probes used about 1,000 watts. This one will be more like 3,000 watts, which will enable it to go several meters per hour. Uh, but to get to the bottom of a, a glacier in Greenland is about 1,000 meters thick. Um, and so to get to that in four days, which is a reasonable field time, we need to go more like 10 meters per hour. Um, and so to do that, we're going to have to have about 6,000 watts. The descending probe will unspool hardwire connections for both the scientific instruments on board and the electrical power for the heating elements. The wire has to be carried down by the probe because as it goes down through the ice, the ice freezes in behind it. So we can't feed the wire in from the surface. Hundreds of meters of wire are tightly wound on a spindle carried by the probe. Well, as this probe descends, the wire has to uncoil perfectly so that it doesn't snag within this spindle as it's uncoiling. So the wire has to be wound on here very precisely and very carefully. I'm winding this wire onto the spindle um, so that the top layer of wire rests perfectly in the groove of the two wires beneath it. APL's thermal ice probe is meant to be less costly, less complex, and more efficient than hot water drilling. Where they heat water on the surface and then pump it down to drill the hole. And of course, to keep pumping it down and to keep drilling the hole, they have to keep the hole open so that they can pump hot water all the way down to the drill, the point where it's drilling. The APL thermal ice probe is set to undergo field testing in Greenland this summer. We believe that this kind of data is very important to understand what's going on at the bottom of the ice sheets rather than just observing from, from instruments on the surface or from satellites. We believe that's a critical need and that's why we're trying to develop an inexpensive probe so that we can get a lot more of that kind of data. Any kind of climate or weather data uh, is dramatically improved by having more data points. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle. Thank <laughs> you.